Hello everybody, this is Pokefan Bren coming to you with Scarlet and Violet. So as you can see, my ETBs came in a day early, releases tomorrow, these showed up today. Hopefully the rest of the products will be here in the next couple days, but since these are here, let's open a pair of them. So I'm going to open the Coridon today. Well, open them both today, but the Coridon video will go up now and 6 o'clock tomorrow, the Midridon box will go up. All right, so without further ado, let's get one of the Crydon boxes opened, get everything laid out. Let's see what comes inside. Let's look at that new uh, full art promo card. And then we'll get, get to opening the packs. All right, so First thing, let's go through the stuff that, well, no one really cares about. The new damage counters or damage markers. Presentation's cool. We have the dice with the EX logo. The dividers. Oh, that's a good sign. I've seen a lot of people opening these ETVs and the promo card is actually bent. So let's hope, hope it's not. Energy brick. Get to see the new gray borders. Code card for the ETV. I don't know if the code is active yet because the set hasn't released, but save it, try it out. Right on sleeves. Gold like the Crown Zenith ones, so that's nice. And let's get the promo opened. So far, it doesn't look to be bent. So some of the ones I'm seeing, I guess they got pinched under stuff and it's like actually bent. This one just slightly bowed. Very slightly. But... Still a really nice promo. that sleeved up put it in the back hopefully we can pull some friends for him so the new ETBs previous uh, sword and shield in back had eight packs unless it was a special set it had ten but well, I believe there's nine so one two three five six seven eight yeah nine we'll look at the pack art uh, four different pack arts in a sec but let's just take a quick scroll through the set list so there's some new rarities and things. You want to pause and read that? You can. Obviously, we're going for any of the single, double, or triple gold stars. Which is a decent size set. There we go. So single star. It's basically the character rares, or illustration rares. If you want to pause and see any of that, you can. And there's the golds. So basically, without the set being released, that Miriam is still the most expensive card, like it was with the Japanese base set. But, let just take a quick peek myself. I actually haven't looked at the set yet and see what... So I don't know what transferred over from Japanese to English. Hmm. I really did like that drowsy in the Japanese set, so let's, let's try and go for that. Alright, four pack arts. Right on. Right on. The three starters, Brigatito, Quaxley, Fuecoco, and the terrestrialized Gyarados. So, let's get the packs laid out. Try and keep all nine on camera so I can put the hit on top of the pack if I do pull. Good enough. On to pack number one. 
I don't exactly know how I feel about the fact that they changed over to uh, the gray borders or silver borders if you get the hollow. I'm really hoping that with the transfer to the look of the Japanese card, we're going to be getting the Japanese quality because if you've opened Japanese, you know the cards are more time than not pretty mint. But let's find out. So this video here, I'm going to go, I'll say the names since everything like that. Maybe the first booster box, but I did get six booster boxes. So I'm probably just going to do a mass opening of 200 plus packs. So Graveyard, Mastiff, Spupa, Meditite, Tatsugiri, Scovillain, Torkoal. You do get two reverses, so reverse Toxel. Okay, that's a good first pack. Let's see if we can get all three, the Ralts, Curly, and Gardevoir. And then your Hollow, guaranteed Hollow in these packs. Dondozo. And if you are going to do pack trick, one from the back of the front. Oh, let's put the curly in front, because that's our hit. And get on to pack two. The other thing you're going to notice is all the code cards are the same color, at least with each product. So if you... nine These nine packs will have black code card. The booster boxes, I believe, have black as well. And if you get the... Check lanes, I think they're, they're white, but the code doesn't mean anything because you're guaranteed hollow. Shuppet, Tandem Mouse, Small of, Prime Ape, Sorgato, Penny, Stone Journer, Killer Watchful, Satitan, and Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge has a really nice character wear as well. So I guess this Armor Rouge would be our best out of that. So there's no more non hollow wares, which I guess is nice. We'll see how it affects uh, card prices. Loet, Palmy, Small of, Wiglet. That was unnecessary. Diglett was already enough. Muck. Pavilion. Dashbund. Dashbund, whatever. I'm not going to attempt that. Youngster. And Slowbro. I'm still trying to figure out why this camera doesn't focus half the time. But right, we're on pack number four. The baby, Toxel, Ralts, Growlithe, Blissey, Tatsugiri, Jacques, Tarantula, Zangoose, and ah, Crydon EX. Again, I don't know how I feel about these EX cards. Compared to the Japanese, the Japanese is a lot more vivid. These colors are kind of dull. But like anything, with opening well, 300 packs or so in the next few days, I'm sure it'll grow on me. On to pack five. Let's see if we can get at least one of the gold stars, whether it be a one, two, or three star. Again, I don't know if those code cards are going to work yet, but let's try them out. Saravia, Ralts, Tandem Mouse, Poke Gear, Mouse Hold, Crocolor, Florges, Klawitzer, Picnic Basket, Rev of Room. So far, that promo is the best card that we've pulled, but. Well, actually, that curly is a single single gold star, so not too bad. Tropius, 
Pokeball, Rotom, Palpad, Zangoose, Youngster, Flaffy, Cacturn, River from Reverse, and then Annihilate. Sorry. Third to last pack. Nimona, Lechonk, so baby, Growlithe. I like that they still keep Gen 1 Pokemon in all the sets, especially with all the changes. Vitality Band, Cyclozar, Toxtricity, Growlithe, Pokeball, Skeledurch. Second to last pack. Packs are easier to open than Sword and Shield, so that's a, a plus. Tadene, Curlia, Switch, Fikoko, Rock Chestplate, it's a Titan, Team Star Grunt, nice full art of that as well. Mareep, oh, okay, we'll come back to that. Oh, double credit on. We'll come back to the polls at the end. I'm happy with that. So that's a one star gold, two star gold. Well, all the three star golds are actual gold cards. Very hard to pull. So I don't know if we're gonna get any of that in here, but you never know. The pull rates based off in opening 8,000 packs got released today. And I think the terrestrialized Gyarados was actually the hardest card to pull. I think it took 800 packs or something like that. Pineco, Little, Fukoko, Drowsy, Quaxwell, EXP Share, Toad Scroll, Tatsugiri, Dolive, and Professor's Research. So, not much to show, obviously. One more time, this is still my favorite card that we've pulled, even though that Fuller DX is pretty cool. Really like that artwork. Card on EX. Nice card. Curlia, Art Rare. Wait a second. What? Oh, wow, great. A spot on the card. So that would have been the best card we pulled, but that spot kind of ruins it. But that's three Coridons. Actually four, because we did pull regular Hollow. So four Coridons out of the Coridon ETB. So yeah, that spot on the card kind of bugs me, but what can you do? There's a lot of new things that Pokemon's doing with the printing of this set, so. I'll cut him a little bit of slack. Hopefully all of the high rarity cards aren't messed up like that. So whatever, we'll see. That's it for today. That's it for the first ETB. If I open both, then this is going to end up being a half an hour video because I do talk a lot. So we're going to end this one here. And we're going to move on to that one tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to see more, I upload twice a day on Instagram and TikTok. Everything from Scarlet and Violet all the way back to Wizards of the Coast. Alright guys, and girls, I'll see you tomorrow.